In this lesson, we're going to have a look at the perimeter of shapes that include parts of a circle. So in this particular case, we're having a look at the arc length of a circle. So that's part of the circumference of a circle. And we're going to use this to help us find perimeters. Now in this particular question, we're only going to just trying to find that outside distance there, that's the arc length. And in this question here, we're going to look at this one here, this arc length, which is just a bigger length, a longer distance. So let's have a look and see how we do this. The first thing to remember whenever we're working with these sorts of shapes is to realize that this is the fraction of a circumference. So we're going to write that down, that this is a fraction of the circumference of the circle, part of it in other words. And the fraction that we're looking at is 50 degrees out of a possible, now you need to think about this, how many degrees are there in a circle? 360. So we're looking at 50 out of 360, that's our fraction of the circumference of a circle. So the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Remember that was the formula for the circumference of a circle. So what we've got here is 50 over 360 and by the way when we simplify this down with a calculator it will do this for us. We get 5 over 36 that's our fraction. We can see by dividing top and bottom by 10, we get down to this. Times by 2, times by pi, and times by the radius of the circle. And you can see that this is the radius of the circle here. There's the center of the circle. There's the circumference. That's our radius. So that's 8 centimeters. And when we multiply that completely out with our calculators, we get 6.1. 98 centimeters and we'll put here to two decimal places because it will be rounded. So we know that this distance around here, that arc length is 6.98 centimeters. Now even though this one over here looks more complicated, it actually is done exactly the same way. So we need to work out what fraction of the circumference we're working with. And in this case, we've got 240 degrees out of a possible 360 degrees times by the circumference of the circle again, which is 2 pi Ah, our formula. Using your calculator, this simplifies down to two thirds. You can just try that out, but that's what it comes to. Times by two, times by pi, times by our radius. And in this case, our radius is four centimeters. And putting all of this in the calculator, we get a distance for the arc going right around here at 16. 0.76 centimeters. Once again, this is rounded to two decimal places. So the key for this is remembering that we're working out a fraction of a circle. That's a fraction of the circumference. And the fraction is the angle over the total possible 360 degrees. In this case, 50 over the total possible 360. And then we times it by the the formula for the circumference of a circle. So it's that fraction of the circumference of a circle. So let's have a look and see now how we can um, do some questions based on this idea. In this case, we've actually got to work out the perimeter of each figure. So in this case, we've actually got to work out this distance here, this distance here, and the arc distance that we used in the previous question. So let's do this carefully and systematically. So we know first of all that we've got a sector here. 
So we can say the shape is a sector. That's the first important point. We can also work out what fraction of the circumference we've got. So we need to write that down. The fraction of the circumference is equal to 40 degrees. There it is there. 40 degrees over 360 degrees, which is our full circle. And that actually works out to be one ninth when it's simplified down. So the length of the arc that's this bit here, the length of the arc is going to be equal to one ninth of 2 pi r. And if we work that out by substituting in, we get 1 ninth of 2 times pi times the radius, there's our radius of 5 centimeters, which gives us an arc length of approximately 3.5 centimeters. We'll round it to just the one decimal place. So what about the perimeter? Well the perimeter is adding up all the sides. So the perimeter would be 5 centimeters on this side another 5 centimeters there remember because these are both radius lengths so that's 5 so that's a plus and plus again the arc length which is 3.5 which gives us a total perimeter from here right the way around to 5 plus 5 that's 10 plus 3.5 a total of 13.5 centimeters and we're going to put in here approximately because remember we have rounded. All right so what about this shape over here? Well we'll start working this out here where we've got a little bit of space. First thing to remember here that this shape consists of and we'll write this out so you can remember it shape consists of what have we got? We've got a semicircle plus a square. Now we can tell it's a square because these side lengths here are all the same. So let's work out the arc length here first of all. So we'll write down the length of the arc would be equal to half of the full circumference of a circle, 2 pi r. So now in this particular case we actually don't have the radius, we've got the diameter so we could very easily, in fact probably should use the formula half of pi d. Remember that was the other formula for the circumference of a circle so pi d when we've got the diameter we'll use that one and when we substitute this in, we get half times pi times the diameter of 2, which gives us the value of pi. Because notice that the 2 here cancels with the 2 here, which is equal to pi. And we'll round pi in this case to about 3.1 centimeters. Although that is very rounded, it still works. So we know that that distance from here around to here is about 3.1. Now we're almost there. We can say therefore that therefore the total perimeter which is the distance right around the total perimeter must be equal to 
Well, let's think. We've got that distance here. That's the arc length. So that's 3.1 plus. Now we've got a side here, a side here, and a side here. So to walk right around this shape, this is just a dotted line to indicate the separation between the semicircle and the square. But if we walked right around, we'd go along this line, walk around the circumference or semicircle circumference, the half circle, down and back again. So we need to have three lots of two, two plus two plus two, and that would give us our full walk around or our full perimeter for this shape, which is 9.1 centimeters approximately.